now I want to discuss about electric potential difference which is delta V. So what is electric potential difference? Potential difference between two points in an electric field is defined as the work done per unit charge in bringing positive test charge from a point to another point in the electric field it represents by delta V equal to W over Q0 where delta V is a V final minus with V initial while for W is a work done in bringing positive test charge from initial point to final point so let's say we have point A and point B here, A and B, and the B is an initial point and A is a final point, means that we want to bring a test charge from point B to point A. So the delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. So, VBA equal to VA minus VB. Means that just now we want to bring the, uh, a test charge from point B to A. So, A is a final position. And the B is initial position. So, VBA equal to VA minus VB. Uh, equal to delta V. There are two types of question about the electric potential difference that you will see after this. The number one is the potential difference between points B and A and the second one is potential difference from points B to A. For these two cases, both have the same meaning, which is B is initial point, while A is final point. So, when you apply the equation of delta V equal to W over Q0, so the delta V is equal to VBA equal to WBA over Q0. So, the delta V here means that V final minus with V initial equal to VA minus with VB. Because of just now, is VA is final position and VB is initial position. The WBA means that work done in bringing positive test charge from point B, initial point, to point A, which is final point. And then, another one is VAB is equal to negative VBA. Now, I want to discuss the relationship between electric field E and the electric potential V. Consider two parallel plate here. One plate is at a potential of positive potential and another one plate is Earth which is zero electric potential. This pair of flat metal plates will produce a uniform electric field. And the direction of the electric field is from positive plate to the negative plate. Direction of the electric field is from positive plate to the negative plate. From this diagram, you can see for two parallel plate, electric field is uniform which means at any position, the magnitude of the electric field is same. While for increasing plate distance, which is D, the value of electric potential V will decrease. 
So you can see the graph of V against R here. The graph is straight line but with negative constant gradient. So here, the relationship between the electric field and electric potential is given by E equal to delta V over T. Or, uh, if you rearrange this equation, it will become delta V equal to E times with the plate uh, of distance of the plate. This equation is only valid for uniform electric field such as in capacitor. Now I want to discuss about change in potential energy and potential energy for a system of point charges. First we discuss about the change in potential energy which is delta U. Okay, from the definition of delta V equal to W over Q0 and you already learned in first semester which is w equal to delta u so we combine these two equation it become delta v equal to delta u over q naught and we arrange from this equation delta v equal to delta u over q naught it become delta u equal to q naught times with delta v so delta u here means that u 2 minus U1 which is U2 is a final energy minus with the U1 is initial energy. While for delta V is V2 minus V1 and the V2 is a final potential. The V1 is the initial potential. Next one is a potential energy for a system of point charges. Okay, consider three point charges here which is Q1 and then Q2 and lastly is Q3. Okay, so the total electric potential energy of the system can be U total equal to U12 means that U of the charge point charge Q1 and point charge Q2 and then U13 is between point charge Q1 and point charge Q3 and U23 is the uh, for point charge Q2 and point charge Q3 so U equal to KQ1 Q2 over R12 and plus with K Q1 Q3 over R13 plus with K Q2 Q3 over R23. So total energy for the system U equal to we factor the this equation so we can K in bracket Q1 Q2 over R12 plus Q1 Q3 over R13 plus with Q2 Q3 over R23. Now I want to discuss about the equipotential lines and surfaces. So it is defined as the locus of points that have the same electric potential V. So this is a equipotential lines and surfaces for a point charge and for a uniform electric field produced by an infinite sheet of charge. If you see figure 1 for a point charge and figure 2 for a uniform field produced by an infinite sheet of charge, for a point charge for figure 1, Let's say a positive point charge is used, the electric field with the red lines will direct it upward. While for infinite sheet of charge for figure 2, 
like barrel plate, a uniform electric field with red lines will produce and the direction of the electric field is from positive plate to the negative plate. For point charge and uniform electric field produced by parallel play, the dash line with the blue color from the figure 1 and figure 2, it represents the equipotential surfaces or lines. For figure 1 and figure 2, the equipotential surfaces always perpendicular to the electric field lines. For figure 1 and figure 2, the electric field point is in direction of the decreasing electric potentials. So, means that for the, uh, the figure 1, for a point charge, the electric potential is V equal to KQ over R. Means that far from the point charge, R increase the electric potential will decrease. And for the figure 2, for the parallel plate or uniform electric field, E is equal to delta V over D. For parallel plate, E is uniform while electric potential is changed. And the electric potential is decreased from, from the positive plate to the negative plate. So, means that for the figure 1 and figure 2, the electric field points in direction of decreasing electric potential. For figure 1 only, the electric field more intense near the charge where the equipotentials are closely spaced. Okay, for figure 1 and figure 2, the electric potential at point A, okay, if you see for the uh, figure 1 and figure 2, point A, B, C, so, the electric potential at point A equal to electric potential at point B but not equal to the electric potential at point C. Because point A, point A and B is at the same position on the equipotential line but different equipotential line for C. So, A and B is on same equipotential lines while not for C. So, from here, no work done in moving a charge along the same equipotential surfaces. So, from the equation of delta V equal to W over Q0. So for the same equipotential line, the delta V is equal to 0. Like point A and B just now, VA is equal to VB. So no change in the electric potential. So when no change in electric potential, the work done will equal to 0.